Because this is such an unusual piece, I thought rather than simply posting photographs up, that it might make sense to, to offer some kind of explanation uh, to go along with it. The title of the piece is The Deposition, um, and it uh, sits in the, within the, the context of my religious works, where I have taken um, religious uh, stories um, and I, I bring them and reset them in, in contemporary modern day Glasgow. Um, there's a whole series of paintings on the theme of the cross, um, the road to Calvary, and in each case what I've tried to do is to take the story and to strip it back, to take out the flowing robes and the, and the beards and, and present this um, within a, this modern day context. Depending on your perspective, uh, Christ was, was regarded as a, an agitator, he was a terrorist. He was uh, put to death by the authorities and as the story goes, um, his body was taken down from the cross and basically his pals managed to huckle the body through the streets of Jerusalem uh, and into uh, the tomb. If you change the context, if you change the clothing, the story itself takes on a completely different resonance. My reading of, of that story is that there's nothing glamorous about that at all. It was an ignominious end, as they thought at that point. Um, so presented in this way, it's stripped of all romance. This is quite a brutal scene. You can see the tension in the faces. Nothing glamorous about it. Um, and the fact that it's set in this sort of a grungy, um, urban backdrop, again, it, it, it changes the way that the story is received completely. Um, as always in, in my works, the graffiti um, serves a couple of different roles. Um, we have the word itself, the deposition, written on the wall. Um, this is, uh, once again, in ancient Greek. Um, and uh, there are still a couple of other wee bits to go on this, just to, to kind of add those final layers. Um, this might sit quite uncomfortably, I suppose, for people who have uh, quite particular religious beliefs. Uh, I think that it's easy to, to accept these stories um, if you think about them with, uh, as I say, the flowing robes and the beards, but to, to actually have to, to think about this within a different context, to try and imagine that the story brought up to the present day, it changes things. Um, as I say, this is one of a series of religious paintings that I've made, and I, and I feel that this is perhaps actually one of the strongest. Um, it's too new for me to be properly objective about it, but I feel that the, the various elements um, have come together really, really well in this. And quite apart from anything else, visually I think it's quite a feast. Um, so I, I'm very happy with it.